Hey, you are back into Sharon's kitchen today. So we're going to do pumpkin pies. Yes, sir. Pumpkin pie goes for every gathering or whatever you have. Pumpkin pie is this. So anyway, I'm using the Libby, Libby Pure Pumpkin. All natural. So, okay. Pumpkin pie. Do, okay. So we're going to do pumpkin pie. So let's get to it. So there we go. Okay, so there's there's my eggs, and I like to have them beat. So, and you'll see as it goes, it'll start to a flush. Okay. And see how that is? And it's pure, eh, yeah. So you know the egg and the yolk and the oh, what am I doing? Yolk and the white are too fully blended. Okay. Now, so it calls for one and a half cups of sugar. So I like using regular sugar. So this is a cup. It's a cup of sugar. And let me get my my little whisker. Keep it going. Okay, so this is brown sugar. So this is a half a cup of brown sugar. So I like that. Oh yeah. Okay, so it called for two tablespoons of ground cinnamon, a, 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 a teaspoon of ginger, a half a teaspoon of cloves. I did not use cloves because I do not like cloves in my pumpkin pie. But I did use nutmeg instead. So anyway, this is going to go in. And we'll stir that. To fill that egg, yes. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put my pumpkin spice in. Greatest thing ever invented. Oh, I keep saying it is a spatula. Good to the last drop. Got that now it calls for two cups of evaporated milk. So two, two cans, so I'm gonna go. And I might be hurting here for certain. I thought I had a deep bowl, so let's see. room for stirring. Okay, well, I think I've got it. Yeah. So, Now what I'm going to do, I need to see who that is. 
What I'm going to do is put a teaspoon, teaspoon, let's do two, two teaspoons of flour. Now, one of my pie crusts tore up, so uh, one of my pie crusts tore up, so so I'm just going to leave it like it is. And this one turned out good. So there we go. So, all right. So, Okay. You can see me wash up a few of these dishes. So anyway, I've got to make a choice. I've got a little bit left over what I'm going to use for it, which I think what I'm going to do, and I'll show you. Do I get my all these spatulas? Good old soapy water soap. Alright. So. Now. I think what I'm going to do is let me show you. Is. I have these. I have these little swirl things. So I think I'm going to pour the rest of that into these and do like a little pudding. Do like a little pudding thing. So, on that note, I'm going to need a smaller, a smaller thing. So, Now these come from my mama's. She gave them to me. They're beautiful little things, so. So I think I'm going to just equal these up and we should be good to go. Alrighty. So, there we go on this and I'll put these in the oven and we'll be back with the, with the, with the, the end results of them. So. Y'all hang on. Let's see. I'm going to have to put these in here. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna wait till after my pie. I've got them both out, plus the little, the little things, so, which these are delicious. This is like if you don't want no crust and all that, you put your little bit of Cool Whip on there, cherry, whatever you want, so. Anyway, there we go. Bye, right, so, remember this, so, y'all have a great day, and I always remember to smile. God loves you, I got potato soup on, I got cornbread in the oven. So, we're going to have a good little supper. So, y'all have a great day. Remember the good Lord. Always smile. And if you're not saved, always turn your life over to the good Lord. And let Him be the God of your life. So, God bless you.